Hey, what's going on, everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and I did a thing. If you're a fan of Unminable and you like to use their pools to mine whatever profitable currency there is and get paid out in different currency, Unminable is certainly a good option. But the application doesn't allow you to profit switch. It's a great application. I love it. And if you want to save some money on your fees, I would recommend adding the referral code Serpent X to your actual wallet address. But the thing that I did was I took all the pools and all the various coins that you could mine on Unminable and I imported it into Awesome Miner, making life a little bit easier. Now there is still some fine tuning that you're gonna need to do, but I added all the pools in here for you and all the various algorithms and I exported it. Simply by hitting the backup button and export objects to file, I could select all. You don't need my other miners. You don't need another pool or anything else from me. You just need the pools. And once I export it, all you got to do is go to Awesome Miner and go to Backup and hit Import Objects to File. Link is going to be down in the description. And now you can import all those pools that are already preset. But the steps you need to do to get this really working is go to your Options under the main tab and go to your Profit Switching Profile, right? So your Profit Profiles is going to be this guy right here or whatever you call your gpus whether it's amd nvidia whatever you might want to call them but if you double click it here you can see that it already prioritized certain miners for certain algorithms for example auto lycos like g miner now it may not be the miner that you personally like so you can always change it right if i select it i could always choose the mining software by clicking the drop down and choosing whichever one i want but because we're not paying for the subscription this is on the free version you can see that we can't really tune our gpu the only way we can manage it is through awesome miner but awesome miner doesn't have uh it doesn't automatically switch when you switch algorithms so what i would recommend doing is in profit profiles you go to that specific miner and algorithm and you go and you actually put in your manual clocks. Now, how do you do that? Well, down here, there's a command line parameter. And you can see that we have a core offset, a lock clock, and a mem clock. All you got to do is Google search the miner of, that you're using for that particular algorithm. And I like to search for T-Rex minor commands or G minor commands or LOL minor commands, whichever minor it is. I like to go to their GitHub. Sometimes the GitHub doesn't have everything, so you have to go like Mini Z. You got to go to their website. But I go and find out whatever the commands are for the core locked, uh, the core offset, the mem clock, the mem offset, the power limit, all that stuff. I make sure to get those commands, and I go in here to Awesome Miner, depending on the algorithm and, and the mining program, and I put in those commands to lock that. Now these commands are the same thing that you might find off of hashrate.no, but you can do whatever is best for you, right? Not every GPU is going to perform the same as one another. There's different uh, variables like the environment and the thermals of that environment and silicon lottery, but we can at least go here, for example, clicking on Alpheum, we can go and find our GPU and we can see that it's recommending a core offset of 250 megahertz, a core lock of 1470 megahertz, and a memory clock of 810. But if you mouse over that question mark, it does have some extra parameters for your Linux-based operating systems. This video is primarily going to be on Windows because we're talking about the unminable app on Windows and how it doesn't have profit switching. So instead, I export all the pools for you to download onto Awesome Miner. All you need to do is put in the lock clocks per your GPU recommendation or per your, um, your particular hardware, right? And if we scroll down here, there's SRB Miner, there's CC Miner, there's Mini Z Miner. All kinds of different miners so you want to put in the actual commands for each miner like i did here for regal as well and then once you have that set you can click ok make sure you save that profit profile go to profit switching i unchecked everything else and i put here add additional pools to manage profit switching and i just added an existing pool group and that pool group is all the unmindable pools um, i haven't created that group for you you can do that yourself or we could just add an existing pool and select one at a time, whichever you prefer. If you wanted a pool group, you just go back to pools, pool groups, and then hit add. And then you can select all the pools that you want in that specific group. So download and import the pools that I created for you. Go and set under profit profiles. Go and set the overclocks per your hardware, right? Go ahead and set that up. Then go back to tools or go back to the main section into the tools tab and go to benchmark. 
and run the benchmark again because you can see on some of these algorithms for example i'm running way over power i'm not as efficient as i could be which is why the lock clocks and the lock offsets and mem clocks and power limits come into play but at least this will give you the opportunity to mine through unminable but with profit switching when awesome miner detects a change in profitability it will automatically switch it checks every half an hour or every 15 minutes you can customize that in the options tab and it will automatically switch to whatever the most profitable currency is at that time now statistics wise because coin statistics uh and the statistics provider doesn't always doesn't have hash rate no it only has what to mine code to mine coin wars which requires a you know api key um you can do a lot of customization but that's a different video for a different day uh some of my colleagues already comment that on twitter but this is where it's pulling from and it's also going to pull from the difficulty of the coin uh the net hash so on and so forth awesome miner may not exactly replicate because you can see here ai power grid is number one and when i downloaded uh the unminable application and i start mining it is pushing me onto kapow you can see right here so even though on hash rate dot no if i go back it's not saying that uh, the 3080's most profitable currency to mine is a Kapow like AI power grid. It's saying it's Alpheum. So it may not reflect what's in hashrate.no. And hashrate.no may not reflect what's on what to mine because there's different clock settings and vice versa. You just got to do what's best for you. Also, Miner is a great tool to utilize to get you the most uh, bang for your buck, especially in the free version. You only get two miners for free, but I think you should take a look at it if you're new to the crypto ecosystem. If you're not new, you're already a fan of Awesome Miner and you just like to use it every once in a while. Most of you are using a Linux-based mining operating system and Awesome Miner uh, is just used on some of your Windows rigs where you might have one or two GPUs, not an entire rig. But Awesome Miner can do a lot. And with paid services, you can manage your ASICs, your FPGAs, and other GP miners at will. However, the main point of this video is go enjoy the pools i've put them all in there for you import them into awesome miner make sure you set your clock set your profitability and your profit profiles um and add some some statistics or api that you can to get the best statistics as what is the most profitable with awesome miner and you should be good to go let me know if you have any questions down in the comment section but that's gonna do it for today's video hit the like button on the way out make sure to get subscribed hit the notification bell to stay up to date as well as check out additional links in the description to support the channel and what we do here i thank you guys so much all right. I really appreciate you. Y'all take care.